on, but Utah just isn't meeting the desperate need for high-tech help. A recent change by the school board and a grant being used to train teachers could pick up the slack. These Utah teachers aren't just playing with pennies, they are learning an algorithm. One of many lessons they will take back to more than 50 schools all across the state for an exploring computer science class. You get familiar with the uh, problem solving processes, thereby being able to model them in the classroom and also be able to help them learn the same concepts. Vaughn Webster is one of 100 teachers to be trained over three years at this workshop hosted by Westminster College. The goal is to get more 9th through 12th grade students exposed to computer science. That's important because right now, only 1% of Utah middle and high school students take it. And colleges and universities in our state are only meeting about 30% of the demand for computer science bachelor degrees. The companies in Utah are trying to hire people in, from Utah who have a computer science background, and they're having to go out of state to get these students. Professor of Computer Science Helen Hu hopes a recent vote by the state school board will help too. It opens the door for computer science to be applied to the science requirement for high school graduation. We need to get more students in those classes, not just the students who have been exposed to computer science through summer camps and through the homes, but more students who have never thought of themselves as possibly being interested in computer science. That's what it will take to meet the demands of Utah's workforce. That's the wave of the future. That's where everything is going. Everything is related in one way or another to computer science principles, whether that's everyday life and problem solving or applying those principles in the classroom or in the workplace. Now, two years ago, the average pay for someone coming out of college with a bachelor's degree in computer science was a little more than $60,000 a year.